everyone welcome back to my channel today we are on the second part of episode one of my for rent series um we are playing with nomi um she is not in tomerang at all if you haven't seen my last video you should go see it because we are playing the landlord side with adrian and today we'll be playing the tenant side with Nomi. Now she has quite, she has a big adventure that awaits her. Um, right now, she's not in the best of living conditions. In fact, they're quite horrible. <laughs> um, she's living in Evergreen Harbor in the i think it's i don't remember what district it is but um yeah i'm just gonna head and reveal to you where she lives <laughs> okay so obviously some of this is not painted but it's like this container like Lummy, like, neighborhood thing. Um, it's really cool build. I'll put the what it's based off up here. But there's like, I just love it. I love this is a different apartment. I love builds like this. Um, so I wanted to incorporate it. There's like this long, long hallway. But I think she's gonna go through one of the public spaces to get to her house. Um, so we'll go through all of this. We keep going. And there's a door right here, but there's also a door like over there that you can see. Um, so we'll go through this door. And here it is. Her horrible rundown apartment. There's not much, obviously. It is disgusting. We have a TV on a on a bunch of containers, which definitely is not safe. <laughs> um and then our bathroom is oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Our bathroom's even worse. We just have a bathtub. Um, there are community like bathrooms and showers, but I don't think we're. I think it's better if we use the bathroom in our apartment <laughs> because this is place is so dirty. Imagine how dirty everywhere else is. All right, I'm gonna have her go to her apartment and have some food. I fear that the first thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna be a fire. Hmm. Scary, scary, scary. I'm kind of worried about how like <laughs> this episode's gonna go because everything's horrible. Adrian's side's like so bright and wonderful. And here's no me. Oh yeah, she's cringy and nosy. I kind of have, um, so the idea for her, 
the idea I have for her is to um, kind of expose. Anyways, the uh, idea I have for her is to um, kind of expose this place. Obviously, it's not the cleanest and it's kind of a slum. Um, so she does have the writer career and I think we're gonna use the fact that she's nosy and her seeker of secrets aspiration as a way to expose everybody. This will mean having to get secrets from fellow tenants, which will probably not be the best idea, but it's okay. This is a really cute, like, lot though. I also might make it to where there's more rooms. We do have a laundry place and stuff. Um, this is where the, this is where the, uh, landlord lives. What do we have you do? You could go say hi to the, there's another neighbor. I wonder where he's at. There's like a mini kitchen in here, but it's not much. What's over here? I haven't even looked. Oh, another bath as an office area. There's like so much to like process. Like, hello? <laughs> Don't scale. I don't really care that Bob can get sick. What is she doing? Oh, she's dancing. Uh. Oh, the TV's right there. I was like, where are you? Can I figure out where this person's apartment is? Hmm. Is it this one? We'll see, we'll see. Somebody, please. Hmm. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. someone does. Okay, she wants to go chat with someone, so I think we should go, we should go look for people on the street. There's people over here. Who's this guy? Let's go say hi. Why not? Why not? We need our social to get up. Do, do, 
do 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 speed run. Ew. With one noise. To rip the I'm gonna have to read the gossip. Looks like Japanel. I found the secret to getting an influence after I got a job as a designer. The influence just started rolling in. The promotion I got last week didn't hurt either. I heard that promotions in any job can give you a boost. Interesting. We do need to work on our. For anyone else that's not our landlord, because I really don't want to talk to him. Let no one out. <laughs> what about this old lady? She's not an old lady? She oh, I just assume. My bad. Let's go say hi. Can you stop dancing? This lady doesn't want to talk to us. That's fine. Um, should try breaking into the landlord's apartment. Actually, no, that's too bold right now, isn't it? Hmm. I guess we could go talk to him. Try and get information from him. He's a little dumb, so it should work. Sure, and we think he's clingy. Okay. Shippy. Borrow Pondle. Ruha Galopa. Mesh Kakrani. Possum Rubina. Lampy Ma Ukinik. Sad Foil. Rabla. Hey, Finn Quofi. Fella Balom. Harpy. Boy. We're gonna gossip with him and see how it goes. We're gonna test the waters just a little bit. Aha. We'll compliment his house. We're gonna suck up a bit. Ooh, she does not like him. Oh no. I don't even want to read this. 
Toilet Terror, Discovered Secret. One day when I was a child, I was overcome with a glorious wave of playfulness. I wanted to get into the most raucous, raucous, raucous mischief I could imagine. So I set up a prank on the toilet in our house. Admittedly, I didn't find it that funny at the beginning, but once I heard that the horrified screech of the first prank recipient, I couldn't get enough. I set the prank up on the toilet every day. I became an expert toilet prankster. Whether family or visitors, our toilet was sending streams of water into the faces of everyone who dared to use it. I even pretended to be fooled by it and was never found out. So let's keep it that way. I haven't done it in years anyways. Sure, Jeremy. Sure. I think since he's here, I really want to break into his apartment so that. But I feel like we're gonna get kicked out, and I don't want to do that just yet. I'm not ready to get kicked out if we get caught. Why does it sound like there's a fire? Is it this? What is this? It is that. Interesting, I guess. Okay, we're gonna... What are we gonna do? I don't know what we're gonna do. Telling us our secrets. Like their secrets. <gasps> He's a crush on us. That's probably why he told us. All the kids in my neighborhood used to play hopscotch together for hours and hours. They got way too competitive. Friends friendships were forged and destroyed. Egos and sometimes shins were bruised. And legends were made. One day I was facing Kenny, the most fearsome hopscotch opponent. <laughs> On the blog, sorry, my dog is trying to eat my hand right now. I kept a watchful eye on Kenny. When he looked away for a split second, I fudged my hops a bit, making it a little bit easier for me. Thankfully, no one noticed. I ended up winning and becoming the new number one hopscotcher in our neighborhood. And I have never, I was never dethroned. I'm still proud of it, of that title today, no matter what. I don't know what to do if anyone found out I was a fraud. I don't know, bestie. <laughs> Hey, stop. My dog is causing me problems. Um. Can we do an interesting one, like a goofy one. Which one has the most votes? Uah! Guys, I'm being attacked by my dog right now. This okay. racket. There's not really places to go here. I was also hoping that like, cause all the rooms are filled up. I was kind of hoping that there'd be like more people around like in the last episode. Like at least they were going in and out, but I see like no one. 
This is terrifying. I think you should come paint something. Know we were planning stuff. You've got such a bad rep around town. Dating must be tough. I can help you though. I'll set you up a date with one of my dastardly friends. You should get along infamously. Are you interested? Honestly, yeah. Let's just mess around and find out, you know? Okay, so... Who's our date? This guy's... Apparently our date. You know... With a good makeover. With a good makeover. Alright. So I guess we're on a date. I didn't give him a full makeover. I just changed his contacts. I made his eyebrows darker. That's oh, and I give him like skin details, but you know that's it. Um, we're just gonna we could do greeting. I feel like she would definitely do like a funny greeting just to be goofy. I want to see how this goes. What is this place anyway? It's just like a bar. It's 2 p.m. She asked, what are we? Girl, you just met him. What do you mean? Oh my- Their romance is high. Did you see that? Did you guys see? That's crazy. How about you get to know him? Who did you just- Oh! <gasps> he has no pants on! Please put pants on. This lady is pregnant and she doesn't have Lowe's. Oh, Let's meet her so I can give her a makeover. So we see her again. I want to have like ask about career. We'll do small talk. That's a good start. What was that noise? He's unemployed. We'll ask about the community. Oh, 
You gonna eavesdrop? <laughs> oh, she discovered a secret. I truly, deeply, irrevocably hate pickles. I just do. I hate them. They're so sour in the most face contorting way. And yet I still eat them. I eat them because sometimes my friends or my family will say they don't like pickles, so I take them. I just want to be helpful, feel useful for once. Or maybe it was also to prove a point. I didn't want people to think I was the type of person who hates pickles, and now I take on the burden of the pickle. Everyone thinks I love them. Every birthday, I end up with a pickle memorabilia. I can't say that word. Ignore me. Monthly pickle club memberships, homemade pickles, and even pickles imported from alien planets. It never ends. Now all I have is a closet full of pickles and a stomach full of lies. OMG. That's so dramatic. I love it. Can we eavesdrop some more? Do some more eavesdropping? We're gonna eavesdrop a bunch. This is so much fun! Feeling bleak in Willow Creek. You know what? I'm just so tired of hearing everyone talk about Willow Creek all the time. It's always Willow Creek this, Willow Creek that. I can't stand it anymore. I hate Willow Creek. I've spent way too much time there, but to me, even one minute is too long. It's just so willowy and way too creaky. You know that grass is greener on the other side saying? What if the grass in Willow Creek is a little too green? Ever think about that? Girl. And what was yours? Have you seen him? The Grim Reaper, I mean, he's just so elegant, isn't he? He's well-dressed, mysterious, and he's got just enough skeletons in his closet to keep things interesting for eternity. He's got it all! I mean, watching him work can be so magnificent. When he whips out that tablet, it also, it always dazzles me. I would tickle a cow plant for one fraction of the style and charm Grim possesses. Is it? His aura is just so magnetic. It's like it's drawn all of us slowly towards him with every passing minute. Uh, I wish I was cool as grim. That's a little grim. <laughs> uh, dude, he's looking right at you. He was looking directly at you. Oh, she has a crush on him. I don't think he likes you though. He's perceived as unattractive, but you like him. I think it makes sense, girl. Get it! Oh, gee. Good joke around with him. She's getting it. We should head home soon. Um, okay. Um, we go back, unfortunately, in our disgusting home. I wanted to build her- I'm gonna build her friendships more offline. And add some way more interesting people- Ooh, is that you? Yeah. Way more interesting people to this place, and hopefully we'll see more people. Um, so I can't seem to find where the landlord lives. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna figure that figure that out um in the next episode. I'm kind of on a time crunch. 
to get this um, done because I have work in an hour. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. Um, there's a lot more to come, a lot more plans, um, as well as Adrian and Nomi will be meeting in the future. This will all tie together to you guys soon. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next video. Bye!